get the magic flowing. The magic is flowing. All right, what's up? Episode 17 of the 1-6 pack. How you doing? Uh, how are you? Thanks for, yeah, how are you? Huh. All right. <laughs> I hear seems that. To be the con- this seems to be the consensus today. It's fucking uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I know. I know it's weird. We're usually doing this on a, on a Friday. Um, we have a guest tonight uh, who's going to be in Disneyland or Disney World. One of the two. We'll ask him uh, on Friday, so he couldn't do it on Friday. So you know, we're we're here to accommodate uh, and we help out. So um, you know, we're good like that. Uh, so anyway, episode seventeen today we are going to talk about. Um, I will pop into this right now. Uh, there we go, and. Booyah. Ever, ever, ever. The best 1-6 figures, Star Wars figures ever, ever, ever. We'll see. It earlier. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. We fixed all the, the issues. There's a lot of issues tonight. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's very weird. Uh, just wanted to point out that uh, at least two of us um, are, are wearing our, our brand new 1-6 pack T-shirts. Which uh, you can actually get uh, from uh, the one six shooter website. <laughs> That's where it oh, should be. No, no, uh, it's no? on uh, tpublic.com. And uh, no, it's on tpublic.com, oh. and you can get them there. And there's the URL oh, below us there. Look at that ticker. We got a ticker. Exciting. We're ticking. So you can go there. A uh, whole bunch of different designs. There's some Exclude Magazine designs. There's going to be more coming up. Uh, some really cool, like, design designs. Like, some really cool, you know, not logo stuff. But, uh, you know, but you know, this is a cool logo. So, you know, wear it with pride. Uh, so, yeah, you can go oh, there. Uh, I'll right. leave that up for Excellent. a little while. Um, and uh, you can go check that out. Uh, all right. Back to the uh, show. We got a special guest tonight as i said um you probably know him as the iron fisted admin of uh osr 16 republic bst buy sell trade there's a lot of acronyms there uh if you're on facebook osr bst good place to uh, sell some stuff buy some stuff trade some stuff um you know a lot of good people on there a lot of uh um, you know backup as to who you're dealing with and stuff like that a lot of uh, what, what's the word i'm looking for I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a good site. Go on. It's a good group. Like, you know, there's good people on there. So uh, let's bring him on. Lenny who? Oh, six is. scale sabers, uh, custom lightsabers, one six lightsabers. If you're on OSR at all, you've seen his stuff. Uh, it's really cool. Um, cathode ray tube or diode. What are they? What are these, Lenny? What are we talking cold about here? Sabers. Cold cathode fluorescent sabers. They're really, really cool. We're going to get into them. We're going to talk about them in a minute. Uh, but right now, I want to introduce the rest of our, our squad here. If I can get this to uh, move ahead. It's, everything's really working smoothly. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm Trevor. That's TJ. That's Tom. That's Lenny on the bottom. Uh, TJ, what are you drinking? Boston Lager. Oh, Boston yes. Lager. Okay. Classic. Just the classic Boston Lager. Nothing. Classic. It was fancy. even better the uh, the winter lager. I okay. had 15 minutes to go to the store, <laughs> turn on the computer, and, and finding it, something more special was too hard. It was like that was at the front of the store. I mean, this is this it. is it's, it was either this or like Coronas. Yeah, it's, you can't. I can't drink a Corona in the winter, right? I mean, it's weird. I don't it know if I've weird. ever had a Corona in the winter. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like I need to be on the beach. If I'm have yeah, to. yeah. It's at least at least it has to be like seventy degrees out to have a Corona. Or in Queens. Uh, Tom, I'll, Queens. I'll uh, leave you to last. I feel like a Queens drink. Queens? Oh, this is no, no. I haven't had a Corona. Maybe like ten years. Oh, you're fancy. You're drinking like some like <laughs> fancy like Japanese whiskey. Uh, oh, we should have let our, our our guests go first. So, Lenny, show sure us what you're drinking. Oh, mm, I'm drinking some fancy Japanese whiskey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love that story. stuff. I this just finished so a bottle of that. I know. I I'm right. Bottle. I'm right there. It's wait. Did you drink uh, all of that? Well, wait no, a minute. No. 
No, I, I, oh, I, I drank it all. Page as long as uh, as Tom was. So. What was that? I said I wasn't backstage as long as Tom was. So. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you had, have you ever had the twelve year aged? Um, I, I forget the name of it. Uh, it's the same brand though. Suntory. Um, Suntory, no. Um, but oh I man, do so enjoy, good. Uh, that Yamazaki. Oh, Yamazaki, so good, man. Delicious. <laughs> so so good. I'm gonna yeah. take the sticker off because. We'll put it back on later on. Tom, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? What's that? I didn't. You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, this is <laughs> not at all what I expected. Um, since it is Star Wars and I try to theme these things, this is called uh, Carrie's. Pineapple. Which I thought was nice. It's pouring one out for the princess. But this is <laughs> beer with pineapple and ginger, which I was afraid of right off the bat. But. I'm not like a fruity beer guy, but it is also naturally gluten free, and it also is clear as urine. And that looks gross. It tastes like Zima urine? or something. Oh. So <laughs> Zima <laughs> it doesn't taste like urine. Yeah, it tastes like Zima. If anybody's old enough to remember Zima. Yep, oh, I remember it's, Zima. Uh, I'm old enough. I don't know. It's got some. It does taste like ginger, but it tastes like a ginger. Tastes like a ginger beer, actually. Like so it's probably like just beer. like like a, ginger ale. Okay, so it's ginger probably ale. like a hot ginger beer because they do that stuff now. Yeah, but they didn't put ginger beer on here. It just says beer with pineapple and ginger. So false yeah. advertising. That's true. But it's not bad. It's fine. I don't know what the alcohol content is. Uh, it's from the Sweet Thursday Company, which I sh should have also been a tip off, really. Uh, but whatever. My wife will enjoy this. So. Sounds like it's either going to be three percent or twelve percent. Yeah, gluten free. I'm thinking this is all the joy. All the joy is taken out of this, so uh, <laughs> I'll I'll find out. It, it can't be great. Um, but uh, too many what you got? gluten free beers that I've like really loved in the past. Like, there's been a couple that are like that I find are passable. But I've never been one where I'm like, okay, I need to keep going back to this one because it is a great beer outside of it. Just yeah, beer. yeah. Kind of just the staples, right? Yeah. Six point seven. It's six point seven. Oh, good. That's actually pretty good. That's the same <laughs> amount of what I'm drinking. Doesn't um, taste like it. But what do you got? I went to uh, this weekend. Um, I was watching a lot of. I don't know if anybody else here watches the Sabrina Chilling Tales of Sabrina show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so good? I watched that this weekend. So I was looking for like a good beer to kind of partner with that because that the show, even though it takes place over multiple like. Um, uh, seasons, um, it always kind of feels like fall. So yeah. I always kind of want like more of a fallish type of beer. Yes. Kind of weird. Um, so I went and I got the uh, murky poetry, uh, Carl mm. Strauss, which is another uh, tap room that's like just a couple blocks up. Um, cool. It's really good. It's uh, it's noted to be very fruity, but I don't get like a lot of fruit notes out of it. So mm -hmm. it's the one that I think you would like, Trevor. Um, like blackberries or no? Like they the ones that they say are like. Um, see if I can find it here. I was looking for it a minute ago. But I, I remember them saying something like raspberries and things like that. Mm -hmm. but it, is it an I, IPA or what is it? Yeah, it's a hazy IPA. Okay. So it's definitely thicker in body, um, mm -hmm. but it has like a really good just crispness to it. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, honestly, it's a really solid IPA. All right. Uh, nice. What, who's that from? That's uh, a local brewery? Strauss. Yeah, they're San Diego. Man, there's so much stuff now that you can't even, you can't even get. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't be able to get that most likely. I don't know. I right? feel like Carl Strauss—they're not stone. Are they big, distributed? They are. They are oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And having not having heard from them before, but uh, cool. All right, that's what we're drinking. Let's move on. We are going to talk with Lenny right now. Hi. Uh, and then we'll be going through uh, our list of what we consider the best one six Star Wars figures. Of all time, uh, so let's 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 get into it. Um, six scale sabers, which is a beautiful alliteration, uh, love it. And uh, Lenny's been creating custom labors lightsabers for two years, uh, and this is interesting. Like different from a lot of people that I know have done the cold cathode. Uh, you're creating your own hilts. Uh, well, I know a lot of people. So some of them, right? Yeah. Some, um, well, not, not a lot. Uh, I actually, 
I, I think that Ray one was the first one. But it oh, was yeah? so easy. I mean, <laughs> you just literally need to cut cut the end of her staff, and that's the whole thing. Gotcha. I thought you'd done the the uh, Jedi Luke one too, no? Well, the Jedi Luke one was actually built by, by Robbie. Oh, okay. Out that's of, the Robbie. Metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. so gotcha. I actually gotcha. have... I actually have the prototype here. Um, this one is built by Robbie, and it's actually made of like hard plastic and milled aluminum. So this is just cool. the prototype. Um, nice. It's like really hard to. Yeah, focus. Yeah, I know. Stupid I think I got a picture of it up here. I think if you've got a, if you gave me a picture of it, we'll, we'll get into it. Oh, probably not, but it's on my Instagram. Oh, somewhere. okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Which is what? Tell us what your Instagram is because I, I should have put it up here in the third bullet and I didn't. My Instagram uh, is sixth underscore scale underscore, underscore saber. Yep. There you go. Easy enough to remember. I, I think. I don't know. I don't look at my own <laughs> name that often. I don't it's know. Right. Yeah. doesn't matter. Lenny. <laughs> You're you're on the show, so nobody's really watching the show anyway. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Oh, this is true. <laughs> but I'm going to make everybody watch the show. Hell yes! Also, How, I am how's not, that going to happen? I am not iron fisted. I am not. There's there's rules. Oh, that, this is not what I heard. You you enforce the rules. That's you're an iron fist. No, well, these rules were made up before I became an admin. So right, but you you enforce them like you enforce them, like literally like. <laughs> the hammer comes down. The hammer comes down like three minutes after someone posts something incorrectly. <laughs> I mean, you're not rude. You're like, you're right there. Oh, this is a personal thing that TJ has experienced. And this I is feel no, 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 no. I, <laughs> I what were you buying, selling, or trading, TJ? Yeah, uh, I, I don't. But Lenny I, I, took I'm you out. Buying, trading, and selling on that site. Uh, I don't know. You did not put a current date on your tag. <laughs> There's no timestamp. There's no timestamp time on this. Please. I mean, he's, he's not like rude about it, but he is like, there mm -hmm. no like i'm just so tired of removing posts for that well, or like yeah telling people what what i'm removing it for i just started removing it like no yeah. warning no nothing if, yeah if break a rule i'm just gonna take it out are you on uh my my custom one six custom six scale site i think uh, um, facebook, facebook page yes yeah okay yes Yes, I am. Yeah, I have some iron fisted admins there too. They're good <laughs> though. They they keep they keep track of shit. I I, I barely show up, so it's good. Um, and um, just as a side note, the mm -hmm. the uh, grievous that you see over here, yeah. the sabers were made by Bruno. Oh, I thought those were yours. I acquired that grievous and it came with the sabers. Okay. And this is before I actually started making them. Okay, so um, is this what got you into them, or did you like break yeah, them down? So and, okay, these. I mean, once you see one of these things in hand, it is the coolest thing ever. I know. Right? So, I hear they're super bright. Yeah. Uh, well, they they can be. Um, mm. ju just like just like this grievous, right? Like the lights mm -hmm. are on. You you can't even tell because the uh, sabers are overpowering. But mm -hmm. uh, I bought. So this whole thing came up. I bought a. Um, pre-made one from someone that was like getting out of the game or something and right. by the time it got to me it was broken the oh. tube had cracked and oh, then man. um you know i asked the seller i was like hey this thing's broken how do i get it fixed and then he told me um bruno made it so i reached out to him and he was like it costs i i can't remember how much he quoted me it's going to cost x amount of dollars and i'm like i'm mm -hmm. not paying that <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then I just started. I, I just uh, started making them. Actually, Bruno um, helped me a lot. Like um, when cool. I first started out, yeah, nice. He, like, told me where to get parts. He so you're saying your 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 thriftiness. Let me put it that way. <laughs> basically, started your business. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I I wouldn't really call it a business. Um, well, your side, your side hustle. Right. I mean, I, I don't do these too often. I mean, I have mm -hmm. a queue of people waiting for mall savers because those things are. Just... Well, I'm going to be adding myself to that and, <laughs> and probably the Ray Saber as well as if I get Ray. The Ray Saber looks awesome. Yeah. Let's go on to another picture. So let's take a look at some of there. There's the aforementioned mall saber, which looks so hot. I mean, even just because now you guys have the DX. I don't have the DX. Is that lit, the saber? It is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that is one thing that the sideshow did not come with. It's it's unlit, which is really sad. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, I, I definitely want to get this because I don't think I'm buying into the DX. I keep flip flopping on that, but uh, okay. so I definitely want to get one of these. Yeah, right. So yeah, so you have so you have a lineup of people for this. Um, I'm I'm sure the Ray one's going to come into play as soon as uh, that figure yeah. drops. I think there's going to be a lot of people lining up for that. I think so, only because. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting one from Sideshow. Do you think they're just going to pack it in after the fact, kind of like how they did with? Uh, didn't the the regular Luke Saber come with her? Like it was like an add in, like later. Mm, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. mm, I'm trying I to think. The original, the original that. TFA one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know during that time, a couple of, like these accessories aren't going to come, and then. A couple like a month or two later they're like oh we're happy to finally announce we're adding these things in probably because that that was announced before the movie so i'm sure they didn't want to tip their hat that she was going to end up with although i could have sworn that finn when they showed finn had a lightsaber but no, finn I, came with her, that's, I mean i have a multiples of the, that luke saber but i can't remember yeah. if it was just because of finn or ray i think ray does it just doesn't light up because correct. It doesn't have light up arms. correct, correct. It doesn't yeah, line up. Yeah, the, the arm was too small to put the batteries in, or something. No, like but then that, they did it later. The first version, yeah. right? Yeah. They did it on the second version. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, they did it on the resistance version. I think. Um, mm, no, they didn't. No, did they no. do it on the no. last Jedi version? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, that's a cool little shot with Kylo there too. I like that with the grab. Now. Yeah. Um, do we have a close-up? But that's the the Leia. What about the Leia saber? That's probably going to be something that people are going to want. Yeah. Um, so do you? Um, are you going to work with Robbie to? Are, are you? I got a couple questions about like cust working with customizers. Um, but are you sure. working with Robbie to do some stuff or? Um, upcoming, I or have no? not. I have not approached Robbie on doing some okay. stuff. Although, I think a Leia saber would be easy enough to do for him because it's just basically a solid piece, right? It's just. I mean, it kind of looks like the the Jedi Luke saber, but right. not not as thin necked. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember exactly what it looks like. I thought it was very ridged, like she had like a lot. Yeah, of ridges. there there were a lot mm -hmm. of those ridges, just like the the Jedi Luke one, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe um, right okay. now I'm working with a gentleman in Jersey um, who has a nice little three D printer that I do not own, nor do I wish to buy. <laughs> um, and I'm working on, let me see, this is, I, I have a custom Ahsoka. Oh, let me see that. Let's and this is 3D printed by Carlos Cruz. Um, oh, look at that. And yeah, it's cool. already all wired up and everything. I just need to, nice. I, I was just test fitting it and mm -hmm. you know, testing like the resin tolerances to heat. Because mm -hmm. even, even though these things are called cold cathode, they're, um, they're warm. Off, yeah, it gives off a ton of heat. Gotcha. Yep. So then you'll paint that up? Correct. Nice. And I cannot wait. Because my so saber now, has been what does that can what does that connect into? What is that because I, I don't own any of these. I, I wanted to get one uh, a while back. In fact it was a mall from somebody else on um, one of the sites, but if it maybe it was Sideshow <laughs> Freaks or Custom one six now. Um, so they they're wired, but uh, do they run to like one of those uh, dollhouse those? light plugs? So um, with a with a converter or a, or a uh, right. inverter, it, I guess it connects to an inverter. Like the saber itself connects to okay a, right. a box like this, which is then connected to. Um, well, I I provide a dimmer switch. Okay, um, cool. Only because you don't need these things at maximum. I've heard that, yeah. You know, um, and it it just cuts down, cuts down the heat tremendously. If you just put it down to like 30, 40 percent, okay. it's okay. Brighter than anything you'll ever need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So can you can you uh, technically, if not practically, wire a bunch into one converter, or is each one has a plug? Uh, well, see, this thing has space for two okay yeah yeah and, like a, a dollhouse lighting yeah. set yeah mm -hmm. right so you could do that and then you can have the power split off into multiple ones of these oh okay so, so you can daisy chain them sort of yeah kind of but i mean your, you, you uh, wouldn't want to like 
stretch it too thin. Okay. You can't push it too far. You get power issues. Yeah, probably. Or probably two things exploding. Well, gotcha. you're, yeah, you're, okay. you don't want them to explode. <laughs> and these things are terribly fragile. Yeah, that's um, the other thing I've heard. Like it's. Blast, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but they look amazing, and and I have seen the brightness of them. They look they look incredible. Um, let's take a look at another look at. Uh, yeah, the Jedi Luke is another one I need. Um, I don't even have a Jedi Luke blade on mine. I, I'm at, I've been on the fence about getting the uh, the, the Hot Toys Jedi Luke because I got a custom with a Yuntel outfit. Oh well, yeah, I have that too. Which you um, that? Yeah. Do you have? I've got an, an Ego V1, but I've got V2, and it's currently on its way to Silent Surfer for painting. Uh, I like it. I've seen it painted really well, and I've seen it painted. It's one of those things where it's like if you if you hit it right, it looks great, and if you don't, it looks a little off. Um, but yeah. I still think it looks better than the Hot Toys. But I'm still thinking about picking up the Hot Toys for the poncho, the lightsaber, you know, that stuff, all the accessories. I have most of the accessory stuff from the um, – what the hell is that from? That's from the Sideshow version, I think, or I don't know. I've got the gun and, and everything. Um, but yeah, but I, I would, I've always been thinking about getting one of these things for it. These, these look great. And just that glow that you get, especially for pictures, like yeah. you can't even, you, you can't reproduce that with, you can't get that from the, from the LED that they give you. And then you have to shoot a, a light onto it with green, which tends to like overpower it a little bit, I think. So it's great for images. It looks amazing. You guys have any of these? I do not. Which? You got one, TJ, right? Uh, yeah, I have the uh, blue. That's you right there, right? The blue one. Yep, that's awesome. fine. Yeah. And it looks, I, see what I love about that for photos is you can actually see the blade reflected in her eyes. And that's probably the only light source, right, for that shot? No, I actually had a detolf um, a few feet to the left of the figure. That's why you get that warmth. Oh, you're getting the little warm. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but I mean, in, in terms of the front, the main key light, that's probably the only light, right? No, I use uh, one of those Lake Force lights. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I All did right. a little light painting over the uh, the top of the head mm -hmm. to make it even. Gotcha. And there's the aforementioned Ray uh, Yellow Saber. So now, Lenny, you can get these in any color. Are you tinting these, or what's the deal? So um, they come in basically any color you want, depending on okay. where you order it from. But um, when you get the red ones, they come like pink. So you oh. still have to tint the blade anyway. Like I, I have okay. a finished. Uh, here, I'll, I'll use this one. I have a finished uh, a Vader, and mm -hmm. it's like under under this covering. It's uh, yep. it, it's a white. Like it okay. The tube looks white, but it's yeah, it's pinkish in color. And okay. then and then you spray it over to get the correct hue you want. So you get like a translucent uh, oh wow, look at that. Damn, it looks so cool. So cool. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Can you yeah, yeah. you may thank you. Okay. You, gotta, <laughs> make the sound effects. you you have to make the noise. You got, <laughs> And uh, the little, the little, um, for lack of a better term, the little nipple on the end of it has got a. What is that? Is that just a cutoff point for the electronics? You don't see it when it lights up. It's only there when the you, when the lights are on, basically, or the lights on the saber are off. But no, you, that's kind you of a thing. You still see it. Um, see that very. Yeah, top? just a just it's, barely though. It's yeah, not it's, too bad. it's way more pronounced in person. But oh, okay. It's just. It's just how it's Pardon. made because if it's just how they're made. Yeah. I mean, think of these as little fluorescent tubes. Right. Right. So there's yep. filament that mm -hmm. when, once you pass electricity through it, it mm -hmm. glows a certain color. Gotcha. Um, so if, if there wasn't uh, like a cap, so to speak on either right. side, it, it'll just, yeah, it just, it just wouldn't work. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, they're super cool. So um, people can commission these from, from you. Correct. Um, are you open for commissions currently? Um, I am open to commissions, but 
I am also. You got a wait list. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah I, I don't have, you know, terrible amount of time. Yeah. To, uh, to, to make these. I have a four year old. Gets all <laughs> well, the <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need so, to know right there. So the least amount of sabers I'm working on at a time, the better. Gotcha. Um, Chris de Guzman also makes these based out of Philippines. And, right. um, you know, whenever I cannot handle um, mm -hmm. a commission, I send them to him. That's Full Metal. So he makes, that, he makes the notes um, as well. I, that's that's no? Full Metal's brother. Yes. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so you can get the help from him, too. Uh, but they, these are great, man. I mean, they're so cool. And it's nice. It's That's a nice little side job. I mean, and it's great that you can... I like anything that I could possibly make myself um, and just have, especially when you're a collector, you know what I mean, which is not much. I can make dioramas, but that's that's about it. And, and photography. Uh, but I'd love to be able to do this stuff. Um, it's I, really not difficult. Just I know people have said that, but it... Uh, like, if you try to figure it out yourself, it might take some time. Right. Like I've burned myself. <laughs> I've given myself a plasma burn on a finger. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. black, by the way. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No. Okay. I don't need that at all. I'd much rather pay eighty bucks for that. Or something. No, you look cool with a <laughs> black finger, Trevor. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bird, crisp little. Uh, I already got. To, I just got over a. Uh, well, I can't even remember what thumb is on. I think this one. <laughs> Slicing my thumb for you making a diorama the other day. It's great. Felt good. All right. Well, um, very cool. Very cool stuff. Um, again, check out Lenny on uh, sixth underscale scale under sixth underscore scale before, underscore before you say that, sabers. Let me double check because <laughs> maybe yeah, it's, all types of it's, oh, it's okay. There's only, there's only one <laughs> underscore. So all right. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, underscore. <laughs> I'm gonna put this all in the description. So just go in the description and, and click on right. his Instagram and check him out. Um, <laughs> And, um, you know, ask him for something, but he's got a four-year-old, so there's a lot going on here. So. Yeah. Uh, but Lenny is, is, is a I big... I paint right in my bedroom, so... <laughs> right. There's a little spray sure right here. Your, your wife loves. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but Lenny is, like, a, uh, like, I would say, like, super fan of the show, which is really cool, too. Uh, so it's just cool to have him on here, and I'm glad we... We did this first because now we're going to go through our top uh, Star Wars figures. Uh, and Lenny has contributed a couple of his ideas, which sort of coincided with ours. So um, let's go through them and let's see what we got here. Um, we did not go nuts with trying to cor correlate you know, all our ideas into a cohesive list. I just took some ideas. Uh, I threw them on here and kind of used my best judgment and our best judgment to figure out what... Uh, was the best, but but I think these are I think these hold up, um, and and I think you'll agree with a, a good amount of them. We probably left out a couple that you you don't, but let us know you know in the comments if uh, there's something else. So number one, and I think I tried to go from uh, in chronological order. I I may have had a couple out of order. I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, uh, but the first one is the DX Seven uh, Bespin Luke, which I think still holds up. Um, is one of the better Luke sculpt. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. What do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you have the. I don't have this figure, so it's hard for me to judge. Uh, but, but I mean, I, just looking at it from a distance <clears throat> and all the pictures. When, when did this come out? Like 2012, 11? Probably 11. I can look it up, but uh, something like that. I mean, dates would have been good. For me, it's one of those sculpts that looks good, but I don't know if I'd say it's like a great Luke sculpt. Maybe like in 2011, I thought it was like amazing. Yeah, it's 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 dated a little bit. Um, yeah. I think I think the reason I put it in here is a it's unavailable in any other form so far. Now we did see the preview using what I think was just the reused yeah uh, Jedi it was, sculpt. It was the Jedi sculpt with new hair. Right. Um, was it even oh, new yeah. hair? Yeah, yeah. Um, it the hair was like definitely in the Bespin, Bespin style. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, the, the, the outfit isn't... I thought the outfit, they did a great job. I just think as a figure, for everything that this came with, with the with the two bodies, um, the two sculpts, purrs, 
Um, if you got the the exclusive version, it came with the broken Vader helmet with his face in it. Um, the gantry from Cloud City, just tons of shit. I mean, it was great. It was really, really cool. Um, one of, I think this might have been like the fourth or fifth figure, and I got it after the, it had come out for years. I picked it up from somebody else. Um, and yeah, it's not a perfect Luke sculpt, but show me a perfect Luke sculpt. I really, you know, aside from maybe, maybe um, Hobo Luke, you know, Octo. It's pretty know. close. Yeah, that one's good. Um, <coughs> but that's old man Luke. For young Luke, I, I haven't seen anything from Sideshow Hot Toys that's really beat this one, mm. in my opinion. Uh, I, I but, do like the um, the new Jedi Luke. I mean, I know there's some issues with it, but I think in terms of like likeness wise, I think they both both this one and that one have pluses and minuses. Jedi Luke, the Endor Luke, the the new, like the yes, the Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. Somebody put them side by side. I I think it's like I, I think if you could meld the two, there's aspects of it um, that are perfect on that one, and then there's others that just don't quite add up. And I think. It was the mouth on this and the eyes on that one. If you could, if you could sort of meld those two, I think it was like be a perfect Luke. It's like don't know why anybody can't hit him. Forgot to like they, they just don't know how to make a closed mouth Luke anymore. <laughs> what, yeah, I'm not a fan of the big on? open mouth one. Yeah, the a little bit of teeth showing of that. Yeah, it's no. funny. yeah it's fucking weird. I think the coolest thing all about this was, was like uh, TJ when you got this figure. It was like the only time I ever saw this. Um, when you had the box open and you mentioned this a second ago, Trevor, like you get two bodies, like you get so much Crazy. in this. It's like a nuts in terms of like the package of like what you get with this figure that, and like yeah. peer system. I, I mean, any figure with peers is going to be a step above any figure without it anyway, just because Absolutely. the eye is like for those of us that take pictures. Amazing. If you want a specific thing on your display case, Amazing because he could be looking any which way. Yep. You know, it bothers me a lot whenever Hot Toys is like, "All right, here's the same sculpt, but now the figure's looking to the right." And <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I yeah, hate that exactly. It's almost well, like just another up, head sculpt. Yeah, uh, SH Figure Arts does that all the time. They'll give you, and I mean, how small is that head? And they give you like one that's looking straight on and one that's looking to the left. Yeah. <laughs> Did I really need that? Could you well, open the mouth or something? I understand for them though, at that scale, like you can't build in a peer system as easily. You know, like I definitely no, not peers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To your point, yeah, the peers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, I feel like we're in the time where Hot Toys, you know, they're probably coming under some scrutiny now because their prices are going up. I think they can start to add in a little bit of incentive for those prices going up, and maybe that increases the prices a little bit more. But I see that as a much bigger value add than you know a fancy base for a dx or something like that yeah that's an interesting thought um i know people loved it on the mall yeah i love it on the um mall. but it's only a it's only really a picture thing you know what i mean uh, if you're putting it on your shelf if you're just a collector collector who's putting it on the shelf i mean for all of us here um you know who who, who either you know take it seriously or or, or do it hobby wise it's important, but uh, I don't know how important it is to people who put it on the shelf. And if they're, I don't know. See, I think it depends on how. If you're doing a museum display, not mm -hmm. important. But if you're like, for me, I have two Hulk figures. Both Hulks mm -hmm. have the peer mm -hmm. system. I have mm -hmm. them looking so oh, like, yeah, kind of like look awesome, yeah, yeah. and they're like looking down mm -hmm. like and up. So like it's more of an imposing thing when you walk into the display room, right. and Hulk's kind of just like looking right, right, up at you. Yeah, versus him just kind of like. Standing there and looking forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got to move the head or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's great, man. I mean, I, I love it on here. Uh, and this has the, you know, the dual moving one, unlike the Hulk. It oh, moves together simultaneously, which is cool. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. Still think this holds up until they come out with something better. Uh, and if I if it's what I saw at San Diego Comic Con. Mm, I don't know. You know, it's not, I don't think it's. I don't think it's exponentially better. I really would like to see a new sculpt. I really hope they don't use reuse the Jedi sculpt and, and come up with something new and just really nail it. Clothing looks great, though, man. It say. does. It, it, the clothing on that uh, is fantastic, and and you get the ripped version, you know, with the damaged the battle damage version, and you get a regular version, which is incredible. Uh, 
I don't know if anybody else picked this. Lenny, I can't remember if you said this. This is, I think, is one of the best. It's the best Leia, for sure. Um, I think it's the iconic Leia, and I, I think it looks great. Is it perfect? No, but uh, it's probably as close to perfect as you can get in this scale, I think. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Agreed, it was on my list. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. Yep. yeah. If I yep. could drop $600 on a new one, like I'd probably get one. <laughs> well, $200. this is one I think we were talking they're about like this. 450 and Well, that's a slight exaggeration. They're like 450 yeah. oh. No, they're not. Yeah, they're four fifty. And yeah, they are. What? Yeah. four hundred bucks at least. Yeah. Listen, if you can pull some strings with your power on, on your, on your BST, our, if you can. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean. Okay, granted, it's been a while since I've seen one for sale. The last time it was on sale was like three fifty. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll tag you. If, I, if I see one, I'll tag you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You're welcome. I mean, it's three fifty though. But you're talking about a bare bones figure, which basically comes with a gun and a couple of hand changes. Is it just a gun? Oh, you, yeah. Have you seen Bespin Leia? Yeah, we have. Oh, I have Bespin Leia. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you want to compare bare bones? <laughs> that figure. Well, she, she, believe when Trevor sent us a picture of the open box of that, like she, <laughs> she just comes with a pair of hands. That's it. <laughs> One pair of hands. One pair. Yeah. Of hands. yeah. yeah. Uh, it's insane. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it would have been nice to have a couple pair of hands on that thing or, or something. I, I I don't know what you can include with that, really. I mean, she doesn't really have a lot uh, to right. go by. There, but uh, but I mean, honestly, like hands, like give me more hand poses, because like if there's nothing else with the figure, more hands. Just come up with more hands. Give me <laughs> and, like, they're literally, and they're literally done. I mean, just include the hands that came with this. And <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, you should never really be using neat. hands as like you progress in a figure's life cycle because mm -hmm. the hands are never changing. You know, they're mm -hmm. always going to be the same unless they're wearing gloves or something like that. Then I totally right. get it because you have to yep. rescope new things. But yep. every Leia figure should come with all the hands from this one and then maybe a new set for every yeah. like, progressive one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it, it, it's got a nice backdrop to the base, but you know, for the price, it was a little ridiculous. This. Um, I think this was just over the 200 mark when it first came out, um, which was, you know, pricey. The one thing I bought a Yuntzel dress, um, which was pretty cheap at the time. I think, um, the dress isn't great, but it serves the purpose. It's fine. It is. It doesn't I mean, it's in, in this pictures. Toy. It's, it's the hot toy dress. It's not the Yuntzel dress. Okay. It looks pretty good. Yeah, hot toy dress looks great from these pictures. Yeah, the Yuntzel dress drapes a little bit better. Like if you're into like the real details of how it falls and how it sits on her, it's better. But this is fine. I mean, it's great. And the likeness just—I haven't taken a bad picture of this shot, and not because I'm a—I'm not not patting myself on the back. You can't. I mean, it looks really good. It looks really good. It does look really good. Yeah. Uh, I threw this in. I'm not sure if anybody else had this. I, Lenny, I know you had the Shore Trooper, and I, I was down to the Shore Trooper and this. So we can, you know. I would have went Shore Trooper myself, actually. The Shore Trooper is Shore my Trooper? Favorite. Yeah. I'm, no, I, is the Shore Trooper I, because of the looks of it or what? It didn't come with much. That's my, that was my main thing. It did not come thing. with much. But yeah. just, the, just the amount of articulation you can get, it didn't come with that fat body suit, suit that's under it. Yeah. Yeah. It, right. came with a, it came with a cloth suit. And True like all of it's that all cool put together, the body was yeah. fantastic. The armor was fantastic. The weathering was great. Mm -hmm. It was just a really, really nice, like well put together figure. Yeah. True enough. For the know, flexibility. Yeah. yeah. The overall look of the armor too. I just like, like the look of like the pants with armor pieces, like over mm -hmm. it kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has nicely weathered stuff like that too. All right. So if you're playing along at home, you could you could intersperse this with the short trooper. We're not we're not saying that short trooper isn't a great figure. It's a great figure. I didn't put it in here. Probably should have. I didn't. Um, Do you have the death trooper? trooper? I have the death trooper and the light up features for me. It just looks so damn cool. I mean, I thought it came with a lot of really good stuff. I mean, this was the uh, exclusive version, or this was the command. What was the hell? What the hell was the difference between the two? Um, no base, base, no doll. Um, it didn't yeah, have that, that light up thing on the like the visor thing whatever that is right but it was there was a difference in the name and i don't remember what it was it was either a commander or it was uh um the specialist came out first right right that was it specialist yeah 
Um, this just came with a lot of stuff, and the the green light up. I mean, that's that's it. That's not enhanced with you know Photoshop or anything. Those green lights come on. It looks really good. I love the Stormtrooper figure. It was pretty flexible. Not as flexible as the short trooper. Not at all. But uh, does this better. Pete block a lot of his arm articulation? What's that? Does the shoulder pauldron block a lot of his arm articulation? I didn't find that. No, I don't think so. No, it's flexible. Um, it's you know, it's the oh, same yeah. as the any of the um, the officer versions of the first order troopers. That it kind of like goes around the neck and it kind of it's it's just soft. Yeah, it's soft goods, so it's not it's not bad. Um, the ones I've actually, the officers are hard plastic. But. Yeah, the first I was just gonna say the first order troopers actually are solid plastic. Um, yeah. This is a flexible. Where the hell is he? I'm trying to find. I think the bottom line is the first order troopers are the worst troopers they've ever done. <laughs> There's a reason why sideshow can't get rid of them. The first order troopers. Oh my god! Yeah, it's just it's awful. Um, it's it's sad that they're still up there, and I think they actually just sold out of that. Um, uh, the officer for the snow trooper, uh, the the new version of the snow trooper, which took like how many years since the TF, TF um, Force oh, Awakens yeah. came out? Yeah, sad. Um, but yeah, I just the, it, it looks badass. I mean, this was just a great looking trooper too. Uh, all right, so that's, that's why it's so expensive, and it is super expensive. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, and I, and somebody was saying that, and I think I'm going to jump on this, but the um, oh, now it's escaping me from from Solo, the patrol trooper. Patrol trooper yeah. That's going to be the next one. That's going to be the next In one to be able to so, find. There's one for sale right now for two fifty. Where? OSR BSD. Oh, is, is that was that just a reason excuse for plugging? Is that no? <laughs> I think you guys have plugged me enough. No, I, no, I no. need more yeah. talk about it. No, thank you. I'll I'll actually don't. I'm was the listing posted properly? Timestamp? Correct. Yes, yes it yeah. was. It okay. wouldn't be up on that site if it weren't. That's that's true. That's a trick question. I just want to see how Kath <laughs> Lenny would react. True enough. True enough. Uh, Let me uh, find it and tag you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I might pick that up. I've been looking on eBay and I haven't found one for under two fifty. So that that would be pretty cool. Uh, all right. Uh, next on the list is, and this was pretty much a, a universal pick. Although Lenny, I don't know if you picked this or not. Um, I did DSP not. Boba Fett Deluxe. Um, the Tom, do you have the deluxe version? I do. Yeah, it's I awesome. I own it as well. But um, like my armor was mm -hmm. so bunched up and poorly assembled. The chest armor. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I saw your pictures. That's I, right. I, I took, took them all, all off. off, and I'm working on. You know, I'm, tr I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, to get them back on here without you know doing any permanent damage. Mm. But uh, yeah, my armor was just all types of messed up. That was that, always the problem with Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean my my Return of the Jedi one looks pretty pretty good. Yeah, but I've seen people with Return of the Jedi that had the same issue. Yeah, that's that's true. What were you gonna say, Tom? I, I was gonna say like uh, I saw people complaining about. Um, I don't know what yours looked like, Lenny, when you got it. Um, but like mine, the the diamond piece in the middle can get a little overlapped at times, but. Any screenshot I ever looked at from Empire Strikes Back, his armor looked exactly like that too, because it is just like pieces attached to yeah. a t-shirt. So it yeah. is like covered up. I'm like, oh, it's screen accurate for it to be like all kind of messed up. So I don't care. So it didn't that, bother me. That's funny I because I looked as well, and every screenshot I saw of Boba Fett and ESP, um, it was more like the first picture on the left, where it was really close together. Mm-hmm. Um, not exactly overlapping, but it looked like it could have been one piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I never really, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just not, I, there's certain things that I, I, I go down a rabbit hole on like a Vader and stuff like that, but I haven't gone down the rabbit hole on the Boba Fett with like looking at the, you know, getting out the micrometer and, 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 <laughs> Taking a look at the distance, the gaps between uh, armor pieces. Uh, yeah. Weekend plans. <laughs> well, now, yeah, I really don't have anything to do this weekend. It's going to rain, so there you go. Um, oh, it's still available. I thought, it looked, I thought it looked pretty good, and um, I love the option of the uh, the prototype version. Um, it's really Me too. Good. Yeah. 
Uh, in fact, I think I have that displayed. I have it displayed that way with the with the regular stuff next to it. I just think it's, it's cool looking. Uh, TJ, do you have this? Or you do not have this. I have it. You do. Yeah. And do you love, love it? it? I love it. Yeah. It's just a great fit. I mean, it's Boba Fett. I mean, the armor looks cool. There's yeah. so much detail in it. You can't. You can't. It's one of those. It's one of those figures you can't take out of the box and not go, wow. You know, just look at it and go, holy shit, this is cool. And the only uh, original trilogy figure I have in my collection, actually, currently. Is it really? Yep. Wow. Because not I don't know. Fan or... Sorry, I know what? Not a Star Wars fan or? Oh, no, I'm a big Star Wars fan. My That's actually the problem. Um, when I first started collecting <laughs> Hot Toys, I was like, I'm going to go all ham on Marvel. Um, I'm going to stay away from Star Wars because if I buy one, I'm going to wind up with 40. And I didn't want to do that. Um, and yet, like after a while, I was like, well, you know, and it was funny because I went to go see Solo when that movie came out. And when I came home, I'm like, well, now I just want to do pictures and stuff. And this was after I started doing photography. It's like, I want to do pictures of like the seedier side of Star Wars. But I'm like, I have nothing. Well, if I'm going to get one Star Wars figure from the original trilogy, what am I going to get? It's going to be Boba Fett. So I just... Funny enough, this one was kind of up for pre-order at that point, and I pre-ordered him. And ever since, I'm like, I now want, you know, I definitely want Vader. I definitely want Luke. Like, there's figures I definitely want. I'm going to order a Wicket um, as well. Um, oh, yeah. But it's like, it's it was just the opening of the door. I was so hesitant to open that door for a long time. And now that I have, you know, this Boba Fett, I'm waiting for them to actually release the ESB Han and stuff like that. So, like, I'm you know just waiting for more opportunity to jump in for iconic versions of the characters. Yep, you went the opposite that I went on uh, Star Wars and, and Marvel. Yes, um, and I'm up to like 70 or 75 Star Wars figures at this point. I think um, 65 of them and are Anakin's. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> still, <laughs> definitely <don't show. laughs> still only three. Uh, but now I'm I'm like I got the Marvel collection up here and I'm starting to look at like Guardians of the Galaxy maybe. Yeah, you, no, that's dangerous. Good. I'm good. No, you, no, should, get, you should you should you should get. Oh, I, should. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize the Star Lord was still available from uh, Endgame, so I might I might pick that up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this anyway, point, new Guardians coming out. You might as well wait. I mean, well, that's the other thing I was thinking. Yeah, but I, I like you know me. Like I'm not getting every version and like like oh yeah. I'm gonna collect the uh, you know Age of Ultron and put them on this shelf. I'm just getting I got my favorite versions of the Avengers and I'll probably get my favorite versions of the Guardians too. Continue um, on this. But I want an adult Groot. I don't want a teenage Groot. I don't, oh yeah, no, adult Groot is the best one. He's the only one I have on display. I do have uh, baby the life size baby Groot in the other room, but that mm. that's a completely different scale because it's one one. Right, but I think if you are gonna get, uh, just to stay on the Guardians for a second, um, one Star Lord, I would highly recommend getting the Volume Two Deluxe. Just because okay. you get both coats, you get the short, yep. you get the long one. It's, you get a lot of op like options with that figure. Right, Lenny, any of those available on uh, OSR BST? Yes, lots of <laughs> lots of Guardian, lots wow. of Star Lords. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, let's just take a moment, like, because I know part of the what we were talking about a few weeks ago when we were talking about doing a show about this was um, our uh, thoughts about the uh, the rise of Skywalker. So we don't have to like delve too deep into it, although I know that's a rabbit hole. But now that TJ's seen it, um, TJ, what'd you think, man? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. But then again, like I saw it pretty late, so I I heard all the bad things, I heard all the good things, I I heard well, everything. You knew everything that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, and then I, you know, there's a lot of fan service. I know I, I read so many articles about how, you know, JJ just paid so much fan service. Um, I thought the fan service was wasn't overwhelming. I thought it was for the most part like subtle. Mm. The only, I mean, you know, there were a handful of things that I was like, you know, what, what was he thinking? Like, you know, Palpatine, yeah. he just gets announced at the beginning of the movie. You know, it's like, he's back. He's yeah, there. Yeah. That was my favorite part of that entire movie, which is like, the very first sentence you see on screen is, Palpatine's back. Palpatine is back. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's a, the whole fucking movie is the reveal of that right there. <laughs> I know. Isn't I know. I, I know. Yeah. Well, all right, well, I guess he took that shortcut. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the crawls were a little more, more like set up or subtle or in, in the original, at least in the original yeah. trilogy. I can't remember what they were in the uh, in the in the prequels. The, first, the TFA one was subtle because you had no you had no information going in either. Right. Well, but, Luke Skywalker is missing or is gone. You know, like okay, that's good. That's some background information, and we know that we're not going to see Luke right away because he's missing or yeah. something. And you know the 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 first order has risen blah 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 okay that's cool that that's all subtle but then it's just like here's what's happening <laughs> since we lax out together an uh, entirely new character has come about and uh, he's you know it's yeah it was a little weird that was a little weird the fan service for me was some of it smacked me in the face a little too much um, but I was okay with it I'm trying to think now but I I do remember like recoiling at a couple of things I just think. The only thing I recoil at was the oh they fly now oh they fly now they fly now like okay do we need this line eight times there you go and they've also Gene. flew for I thought a really said, long time right now twice yes that yes they pretty much always had jetpacks I mean there's yeah. just different variations <laughs> they had space troopers man I mean they were part of the original trilogy um, uh, yeah that whole thing should have been cut out and from what I've heard. Uh, J.J. Abrams agreed <laughs> that that should have been cut out. Um, yeah, so that that was weak. Um, I didn't love the introduction of Lando, but and I and I think Lando was a little underused. My biggest complaint about the entire thing, and then I'll let somebody else go, was that they gave away in the in the in the previews that shot of all the ships coming in yeah. and it's like basically like in star wars if you had shown you know in the previews the the death star blowing up it's like well okay <laughs> uh, now i know what happens like it's like like nobody's coming and nobody came in the last movie so you know nobody's gonna show up nobody's gonna show up and it's like oh oh i know i know they're showing up everybody's showing up there's tons of ships showing up uh and i knew that was gonna happen and i was like ah oh, that took all the if if that had happened on screen and they had lingered a little bit longer enough to you could go oh my god there's the ghost or oh my god there's you know that would have been amazing like that would have been great fan service right there i will say though as someone who didn't watch a single trailer going into that oh no movie, oh, good for you I, that's that scene where they show all the ships it happens too fast for me to yes. know anything yeah. that shows up so i was like wait right. what happened and then i had right. to like look after the fact i was like oh okay here's like the breakdown of everybody right right it was cool and if you want to get into logistics, it's like, all right, they sent out a signal before and they couldn't get anybody to show up. And then they send Lando and Chewie out and they round up like an entire galaxy. But um, okay. <laughs> but, I, I, but I'm, but I like with Star Wars, I went into it like it's fantasy. I just want to like, it's just enjoy it as, as a fantasy tale. You know what I mean? So I'm fine with that. I don't need to have everything explained to me. Yeah how many parsecs they were traveling to go to all these planets and round people. I don't care. I don't care. It's fun. And it was fun. It was, it was good enough. Um, from now hearing uh, about the, is that something the that's original. Complaining? What's that? What is, that? is that something that somebody's complaining about? Like the, well, they didn't have enough time to go from planet to planet while all this stuff well, was going on. No, I'm pulling that on my ass completely, but okay. uh, I could see the, the internet thing. doing that. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's like I don't need to have everything, you know, explained to me. It's it's space fantasy. It's like, you know, whatever. Like just any of this stuff and this whole genre. Buck Rogers wouldn't have been Buck Rogers or whatever if everybody had like had to have a you know a a, a a diagram of the ship that he was on. You know what I mean? And what every chamber was for. You know, it's like who cares? It's a ship. It's a spaceship. It's fun. But that's this is where we are now. So, um, Lenny, what'd you think? I <laughs> loved Wrong it. Part. I loved it. I okay. absolutely loved it. But like, I I pause because I'm afraid of what people will think of me afterwards. <laughs> no, fuck but, it, man. That's, yeah, exactly. It was, no, it was I was good. I enjoyed that movie terribly, and wow. I think yeah, it's it's really weird for me because. I spent the first, I mean, the, the last, you know, seven and eight hating, absolutely hating Kylo Ren. Mm. And like it all changed after mm. episode nine. 
Then all really? he had to do was say one word, one word. Which was? That. Mm. That's okay. all it took for me to change my entire perspective. Now I'm looking to get another Kylo Ren figure. It's <laughs> it's like my, I'm just all over the place now. It's it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's all about Lenny selling the merchandise. Selling yeah. the merchandise. <laughs> yeah. no, but, hey, I really enjoyed it. Um, my biggest complaint about the movie is there's not going to be any more um, of the Skywalker um, saga. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that means for Ray. Like she was just beginning to get interesting, <laughs> right? I know, um, I know, I know, I know. As well, and I, I want to. I'm invested now. I want to know what happens. I guess I'm going to yeah, wait for a book or something. Or it's going to be comic books. Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping um, they'll go the route of. I mean, because Disney Plus is out, and they need to start filling this stuff with shit that's people are going to watch. That's not just you know, you know, old movies. Um, and Mandalorian. Um, and I realize there's a lot coming out that, but I would love to see in the style of Clone Wars at a continuation of this. Because what I've heard is that for the most part, at least from Daisy Ridley, and this is all conjecture and I don't know, but that like, she's not interested in doing more. Like, you know what I mean? Like going on and doing, doing more. And then it doesn't sound like Disney is interested in taking this to another level. They're interested in doing something different. I mean, I blame fans for that more than anything. Because I mean, you know, after yeah. The Last Jedi yeah. came out, the fandom just started becoming rabid dogs and yeah. that of course would scare any person away from wanting to work on a, a project. Yeah. Who would want to, I mean, yeah, exactly. Like showing up and I mean, it, you know, it's, it's a completely different time and you can't compare the two. Um, no, but you, you know, the, the difference between the original trilogy and what came of that and the people who were in it and the love that the fans had for them is completely different from this. It's just, it's the, it's it's social media it's the internet it's toxic it's us versus them everybody's got an opinion everybody's an expert uh where yep. before is you know you talk with your friends about it you know and you read star log and and that was it that's all you had so uh you loved it and you couldn't wait to hear from mark hamill or or harrison ford um yeah, it's a shame. It's it's really a shame. Um, but I think uh, I think a cartoon or something like that could be a cool way to continue it. Because mm. you're right, Lenny. I'm, in, I'm invested in her now. Like I, I kind of like the character. I just don't think they gave her enough enough depth. And and the way they brought the three of them together in the last movie, yeah, was like that's what I wanted in the second movie. You know, that's what I wanted. I wanted a team. I wanted them to have some interaction and learn something about each other. And and it's like, oh, you're a smuggler. Oh, like oh, that would have been cool to learn last time. You know what I mean? Like. Well, that's part of my problem with, and I mean, like, I don't want to go deep into this, but part of my problem with the la the second movie was that it, instead of following the threads from the first one, which is what the third movie clearly does, is it like says, okay, here's the Force Awakens, let's follow those threads that we had started setting up there. Right. Since right. the second one kind of cut a lot of them, we're gonna like try to reattach some of those strings. Exactly. Through. Yeah. If we had some of that stuff that we got in this latest one seated in the second one. I think we would have had a lot more of a journey and felt like, you know, maybe Ray kind of came into her own in the second one, much like Luke kind of did um, in the Absolutely. original trilogy. But instead, we Absolutely. didn't get that. Instead, we we were left with more questions by the end of the second one. Yeah. So by the time the third one comes around, we're like, okay, we've got to start putting answers to this stuff. But we don't right. get that resolution at the end where, okay, now she is, she's embraced this life. Let's get a journey with her embraced it, you know? Absolutely. And I think there's a I think there's a need with all movies now to do this sort of twist, you know, that you, at the end or some sort of twist, you know, in the plot or whatever. And I, I didn't need. It's fine. It's fine the way it was. I liked it. I enjoyed the Palpatine angle. Um, I didn't need to have her explained or anything like that. I in the second movie, if you said, okay, she's nobody, I'm like, okay, let's go with that. Let's go with her being nobody. That's Okay, and then when they previewed Broom Kid, uh, I'm like, okay, the whole idea is that anybody can be a Jedi. It's not just you know you're special, like you you know like you could learn this stuff, or you know what I mean? Like anybody can be the hero. Him. Anybody could be Luke Skywalker. Anybody could be that, you know. And that was the whole breakdown of Luke Skywalker, which I'm like, okay, if you're gonna do that, now make it so that you know other people could be 
that hero. And then they kind of just lost that, you know? I mean, just went away. I don't know. But I did, I did enjoy the movie for what it was, and it was enjoyable, and it was a good story, and it's fine. Just as an overall arching arc, it didn't have the... Uh, you know, didn't have that punch that y you wanted, I think. I think, right. um, like, yeah. Go uh, ahead, so I was just gonna say, I, I, I enjoyed the movie too. I didn't get a chance to mm -hmm. like say that, but I'll say like, I really liked that from, I went into the movie, I enjoyed the ride. It was crazy. Like so much stuff mm -hmm. happened, right? I kept freaking going. Yep. Um, and then when I got out, I was like, okay, wow, I need to go see that again to really absorb it. But I had fun the whole time watching it. Yeah. There was some grown parts, but every movie has grown parts uh, to it. Um, but I, you know, out coming out of the Last Jedi, I didn't like it the first time. I liked it less the second time, and every watch afterwards, I liked it less and less. So I do have to actually come back to something that I actually enjoyed. Um, I do. It did make me actually like the Last Jedi less even more uh, because I was like, wow, if that movie just had a little bit more of the connective tissues to this one. Mm -hmm. What would have happened if we had like the emperor like seated in the second one? Granted, I know that exactly wasn't in the plans until they needed to come up with something. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't yeah, know. I, just, shame, I thought Snoke was an interesting character on his own, and I, I would have been okay if it was just you know come up with some weird background like he rose after. I would have been fun, whatever you know. I mean, it could have been anything that I I don't need to know everything. I mean, I didn't know anything everything about the emperor after. You know, Return of the Jedi. I just he was a guy. Like he just like yeah. he was like, oh, there's an emperor. Oh, there's a guy above Darth Vader. I thought Darth Vader was the dude. And like, uh, well, they mentioned him, but like, I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, it wasn't it was until the prequels awesome. to see his like entire story. You know, right? And I, I, I but I think that's the problem. I think I think that people need everything wrapped up tight and threads tied up with every aspect. And I'm like, I don't really care if it's a good story. And I realized yeah. in the original trilogy that they they were seat of the pants and they kind of made it up as they went along to some degree. But, you know, they're talking about George coming back. I think George is a little past his prime. Yeah, but he did not have the ability to put the right people in place. I wouldn't contribute it to him entirely or mm, maybe much at all. Uh, but they did have the right people to put in place to make the story work and be cohesive from movie to movie. And I just think I they think the lost it. The thing that they should have learned from this, well, uh, hopefully the thing that they learned from this trilogy right. is that if you're going to do a new trilogy, do a storyline, just like the just the small pieces, the beats of it from the beginning, from yes. start to finish. So everybody right. knows one game, and then you get to tell the story of how they get to that point. From story the, arc. From the, yeah. You can have as Forever. many different directions to it as long as like there's an, a you know, a vague outline to follow. Yep. This yep. trilogy clearly had no outline at all. Yeah. And it's so the one thing showed. that disappoints me about it, it, it. It was all the movies are enjoyed. I loved The Force Awakens. Still love that movie. Yeah. And I realized yeah. rehash of A New Hope, whatever. Loved it. Loved it. Fun. Yep. Meeting the new people. Uh, the interactions between the characters, the new characters and the old characters. Loved it. Loved it. Would have loved to seen, you know, the three connect in the in the second movie so much missing in the second movie all right i'm going on but anyway it was a good movie um i enjoyed it it is what it is we have what we have um i think there's better things to come we'll see anyway boba fett um who's next here ah oh, cheer it cheer it uh shot by tom shot by myself I love this figure, man. I love everything from the box to the figure. I mean, the box yeah, is amazing. Oh, the box was fantastic, yeah. That box right? is beautiful. The gold foil on that freaking box, it's insane. The little, when I opened it, it up, I was it like. also had the, like a similar box, right? Yeah. It was all in the same, like, kind of embossed, like, not, not you, you can't really tell at first glance, like, right. whose box it is. Yeah, it was weird though. I, when I opened up Chirrut, I'm like, okay, they're they're basing this. I think I got Chirrut first. Uh, I'm trying to think, I don't know. But I, when I opened it up, it kind of fit the character, and and yes. and like it, it's like he's 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 a Zen character. He's a Zen with the Force, and it's like okay, that fit. And then when I I got um, Jin, Jin, um, like I was like, oh. This is kind of the Rogue One feel to this, like with the little bone piece. Like it didn't really make much sense. 
but okay, fine, whatever. Uh, but man, I when I opened this, like that that little bone thing, the little plastic piece, that like ah, oh, damn, this is a beautiful. It was like it was like an Apple unboxing experience, that kind of thing that Jobs would talk about. Like like when you open it up, it's just an experience. It really was. It was beautiful. Yeah, the likeness is also just spot on. Actually. Like it's ridiculous how good this is. Like I spent a lot of time when I first got this figure, I was taking like a ton of portrait shots because mm -hmm. like every angle, like it just looked exactly like Donnie Yen. It was just like oh, it looks so good. Really good, really amazing. Great articulation because it's all cloth. Um, so like you could really yep. just get the the full range of the motion of the body that they used for him, which was actually really yep. good. Um, but it has like nice detailing in that like little cuff piece that he has on his arm. Yep. Yeah. Big fan. A lot of us good good accessories and um, yep. just great. Um, I wish we'd get uh, bays. Uh, I guess that's yep. not going to happen at this point. But uh, I really wish we would. I wish they would pull a surprise like they did with Krennic and put out a bays. That would be really cool. Although you know, how about Poe? <laughs> Three yep. movies, no figures. Go figure. Poe and Baze are like two that I bought into the other characters from both of those mm -hmm. lines, like thinking that they were both going to be coming out. Like I got Cheer It thinking that I was going to get Cheer It and Baze because yeah. they were both shown up. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'll get the two of them and that'll be all I need from Rogue One. And then oh, I got really? the. Yeah. Like, I mean, I love K2SO, but, you know, I decided not to get her, get him and oh, no? Jim. Oh, he's a great now, figure, man. They're, yeah, they're great they're figures, great. but I, I had to like again try to keep my Star Wars collection pared down. I know, um, I know. Yeah, yeah. this is but, such yeah. a great movie, though. I mean, this this was this this grows this movie grows on me and goes higher on my list with every watching, basically of it, and it's it's really really good. And I think I have everything. Yeah, I have everything from it. Um, yeah, do you have the Short Trooper? Short Trooper, Death Trooper. Jin, Chirrut, K2SO, and I got Krennic on the way. So, yeah, everything. It's fantastic. Wow. Ooh, you guys got this? Lenny? Had. Had it. You had it? Had it. Sold, sold it on BFT? So, yeah, sold it. Um, yeah. yeah. Never had it? No. no. Looks good. Yeah. Do you have any uh, Rogue One figures? No. Oh. None? No. No, you did. Um, that was before I opened this Star Wars door. Oh, okay. Um, but now Wars you're closing. But now you're closing the Star Wars door. You said no, 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 no. I'm selling my uh, my old man Obi Wan. But why? Oh, yeah. What? Because I don't have like I, I sold my Han and Chewie. And like, what? I told you this. I, I what are you doing? I feel like I funded like an Iron Man figure. I I, I forgot. It was like a year ago. It was. Um, true. I probably <laughs> so like I, I want like farm boy Luke I want like Princess Leia but now I'm like now I kind of have to like buy four more things to complete the set yeah but but then but then you sold Han and Chewie why'd you sell Han and Chewie if you, were... you know what because I just wasn't shooting them okay it, yeah. you know, I, I had a stretch of time where like if I wasn't shooting it I was going to sell it mm. okay do you feel like your collection do you feel like your collection is one where if you're not going to shoot it, you shouldn't have it kind of thing? It's more for at, shooting? You know, at, at one point, yes, but now I have, like, certain figures that I just, like, it's that are display case worthy, but not, like, ever on the shooting table. Gotcha. Okay. Ooh, like who? Curious. Um, I love my Ghostbuster set. I didn't even know you had that set. I didn't yeah, know like, you have that, the Blitzway? Yeah, I, I, I've got oh, this. I, shit, man. I've taken a handful of shots, but now I just like looking at them in a display case. Wait, wait, wait. You've taken shots of the Ghostbusters? Yeah, it was. I, I think it was before we were friends on Instagram. Wow, must have been, man, because <laughs> holy shit. Well, that's a long time, though. Like, I mean, even yesterday? like six scale photos, man, that's that's a long time ago. It was a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, know, it's an old, I know it's an old set, but man, that's cool. You should break those out. Those are great. All right, uh, moving on. Ecto one, Ecto one's coming. I was not allowed to buy it anyway. Never mind. <laughs> I've said yeah, uh, Ecto one in that uh, Jazz Inc. The Batmobile is like killing me. I really want to. I am in for the Jazz Inc. Uh, Millennium Falcon cockpit. Me too. Me too. The cockpit. Yeah. High five. It looks 
so good. Like if you, oh man, you should have totally had pictures on. That'd be perfect for Han and Chewie. Fantastic. It really would. If you had oh Han and Chewie. wait. And Ben Kenobi. <laughs> Hang on to Ben. And Ray and Finn. That's true. Uh, oh. This is this is an obvious one. The uh, DX17 Marth Darth Maul. Uh, great figure. It was our it was our figure of the year, correct? I mean, this one yes, figure of the year. Yeah. Incredible figure. Still, I'm on the fence about getting this thing. I keep uh, thinking about just getting the body and the heads and and kind of like augmenting my sideshow uh, figure. But uh, it looks great. It looks amazing looking figure. Uh, the purr is just, I mean, perfect for this figure. You had to have the purrs with this. So great. Those side shots and stuff from TJ and Tom. Here. Both heads, too, man. That screaming head. I know we don't have a picture of it here, but. Whew. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. And then you guys did not get the deluxe version with the. Oh, you did. Tom did. You yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Lenny, you got this? Mm hmm. There was no way I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to get this. Yeah. Let's be you need awesome. an do you need an Anakin to go along with him? <laughs> Does anybody need I already have him? Come on. I already have two. Oh, um, wow. Wow. That's pretty weak. Right. Yeah. I got the light side and the dark side, and I had a custom dark side with G Wiz clothing. Of course, they announced, like, like, this is prior to Hot Toys announcing it. Oh, you got a G Wiz set, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. With, um, with an Inigo sculpt. Interesting. Yeah. I have the Inigo sculpt on mine, too. Yeah, this is a great one, um, and this this I just uh, it's it's a weird figure to be like because there's nothing to this again. I mean, he's got a chair and he's got some hands, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, he's got a chair. But, he comes with a chair. Yeah, no idea. I didn't know that. Yeah, he comes oh, yeah. with a chair. Oh, uh, just unbelievable. I think this is unbelievable. I mean, this is an incredible looking figure. Um, probably. I put myself on a limb here, but I think this is one of the best Star Wars sculpts that they've done uh, for a, pretty much any figure. Their Dooku is really good. Changed my mind. Yeah, Dooku is very good. Dooku is good. Yes, Dooku is good. I don't have it in hand, but I've I've seen it and it does look very 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 good. You don't have a Dooku? It's shocking. <laughs> what? I, I don't even like the prequels. You asking Lenny? Okay, let's not get down that. Way. <laughs> I don't even like the prequels. <laughs> He had to make a choice between Dooku and a one six scale can of dog food. I put a down down payment on a fourth Anakin instead. Yeah, uh, yeah. It says food. the guy who I don't even like the prequels, and then you're like, let me buy more Anakin. <laughs> I just it's a whole story. Maybe we'll sit down one day and talk about this whole thing. Uh, but this is a great, amazing figure. Um, custom body, I think, on this um, specific for this because very, very thin and. Just amazing. I love it. Love yeah. it. Photographs well. It's great. Anybody else have this? Yeah. Tented. Nope. Yeah. Nobody's got it? No, of course I have it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is a yes on every figure we've shown so far. <laughs> I actually bought a second one and I've got a just the body, uh, just the, the figure itself, and I was going to make another officer and uh, sold the head. And now I'm kind of like, eh, I should just sell the whole thing. So I know <laughs> I'm going to make an officer. Wow. See, for me, he's great, but I would need, I want my Vader first. And like, I wouldn't want to fill out so much more of my original trilogy stuff before I jump into where I'm off. Well, if you have a chance to get this set with the Vader, this is a great Vader. This is the best uh, A New Hope Vader, for sure, uh, that comes with this. Would you agree? Anyone? Lenny, do you have this? I do not have the two pack. I, okay. I opted out. I thought I had too many yeah. Vaders. Yeah, they improved. I think they improved the the, the Vader. I sold my original. I, I like the way you said that, Lenny. You're like, I thought I had too many Vaders. Do you yeah. still feel like you have too many Vaders? <laughs> well, I mean, just recently I picked up the quarter scale, and it okay. is amazing. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk because I was like, like an Anakin's. <laughs> quarter saw, scale Anakin? You heard it here first. <laughs> I saw the post the other day where somebody said that the quarter scale – Vader was on like the the regular version, which I don't understand. The exclusive version is fifteen dollars more, and that's still available. Yeah. Is 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 out? The the regular version is out. It's sold out. And I'm like, I, I've been thinking about this thing, and then I saw you post to that post, and I'm like, damn it, I should get this. So it should talk me into it, Lenny. Is it is it really that great? Um, the head sculpt for 
what's his name? Um, Sebastian. Uh huh. Yeah. S Sebastian Shaw. Yeah. yeah. Shaw. Sebastian Shaw. Shaw. Yes. Sebastian Shaw. Uh, oh, I thought you were pulling him up. Unreal. It, yeah. it is so good. And you can swap between A New Hope and Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Looks very, very, very good. It's got ratcheting joints everywhere, even in the waist. Mm. Yeah. Posability so tempting. is great. So tempting. I just don't have really a place good. to put it. I've got a, a kind of a Vader collection going up here behind me. And I know I could find space for it, but... I don't know if it, it it actually may be too big for the area that I have, and then I'm like, ah, now now what I'm going to do? With, what am I going to do with it? You know, so that's the only thing that's holding me back. But uh, damn it, it looks so good. It it is really really good. It yeah. looks really good with the saber, like that Vader um, shot. That that, that was the that quarter scale. Up. That was a quarter scale. Yeah, uh, well, I, I made that uh, saber for for use from Jazz. Yeah. Damn it, it's good. It's really really good. All right, all right, all right, medium. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, um, my quarter scale Vader is sitting in a Detolf with Hulkbuster on the bottom. Mm. Mm. That's a nice so combo. It's, it's the right size. Pixel TJ, TJ here. here. No. <laughs> These look so good. <laughs> What's that? What are you, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, I said, like, you're selling me this figure right now. It looks so good. Oh, this is a great look. This is the best. This is the best looking Luke Skywalker figure, uh, like what likeness wise available. I, I think. I, th I think Crate did a good job, just yeah. from that scene. Crate is good. Yeah. Crate is good. Yep. Yep. But Crate is if, good. If you were gonna, if you were gonna have the Force Awakens, um, Jedi Luke, along with everything else, I would definitely ditch the head sculpt. From the Force Awakens and put one of these on. Yep. Yeah. Last this one looks like a much better head sculpt for sure. Yeah. And I wish that he had the lighter color outfit in the second movie too, because then it would have been the perfect look. Yeah. Because that's yeah. You know, as a Force yeah. Ghost, he's wearing that outfit from Force Awakens, pretty much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did the I did a, a take on the Na Leibowitz shot, and I, I swapped the heads from the uh, you know the Jedi Luke. The Jedi Master Luke with this head. This head is the sculpt is fantastic. It's really really good, and this figure comes with a lot of stuff. It's really really yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's again, <laughs> unfortunately, from a movie, it's not on the top of my list. Um, and and the scenes, aside from maybe the the, the battle with Ray, the you know two minute battle with Ray, uh, not a lot going on with it. You know what I mean? I mean. You have it hauling a fish, and you have it sucking blue milk from a. <laughs> uh, there's just not a lot to do with it, but it, but it looks so good. It looks really. But you don't good. need to be doing like I mean, if we're talking about photography stuff, you don't mm. need to be doing scenes from the movies, right? Like no, you need to be doing stuff like this, like CJ's doing right here. Like right, this, and this, this is beautiful like. portraiture. It's just like it looks freaking fantastic, and it's just like amazing. It's amazing. Yep, amazing. Those eyes are incredible on that uh, left shot there, TJ. That was a photo really nice. job. Yeah, really. What the oh, eyes? What? Yeah, so the the right eye didn't come out very well, so I just okay. owned the other. Nice, eye. excellent, right, good over. job. Yeah, those uh, you want those um, those highlights on there. Um, yeah, this this it looks great though. It's a great looking figure. I've got. I, I'm 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 seriously thinking about that crate though. It's good. Because I mean that's. That's the Jedi Master Luke, you know what I mean? And like it's to do really shots, good. like that's what you want, you know. You want that Jedi Master Luke. Don't own this, but I'm seriously thinking about this one too because it looks incredible. Um, yeah, you got this, Lenny. I do, of course. You do. <laughs> I mean, come, come on. This is. I mean, I know. Uh, the it's ESB the Yoda is is good, but this, like, the body is better. Everything's better about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just like the ESP character better than I like this character. But the more I look at this, the more I like, you know, I was looking at it yesterday and I'm like, they, they did a really good job of making him look younger. You know what I mean? Which is, which is a tough thing to do to take a character that you made one way was a puppet and making it look like a younger version of that character. And 
the more I look at it, the more I like what they did with it. Um, well, they had to because they failed so miserably in the Phantom Menace. I don't know what that creature was that they had playing Yoda. In yeah. That, movie. that, that yeah. was what they too, though, right? In Phantom Menace? That was what? That was a puppet, yes. It yeah. was a puppet, but like, I don't know what, what they did with that puppet, but like they mastered at least the look for the CG version. <laughs> right. But yeah. man, that... The first one. Oh, oh, was it the Phantom Menace or was it Clone Wars where they had the puppet? No, it was the Phantom Menace, wasn't it? Phantom Menace. Clone Wars, yeah. he was jumping around fighting Dooku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this one. The only time we saw him fight was Revenge of the Sith. No. Yeah. Clone Wars. You, yeah. you fought Dooku at the end. I tried to wipe those memories from my. The <laughs> memories from my I'm here to help. Uh, and these, these picks are from our friend uh, Mark Amato. Uh, Morpheus visions. What I love about Amazing the stuff. figures is like, okay, so this character was CG in the movie that he appears in, right? But like seeing the figure of him, it makes him even look more real because he yes. doesn't have that that kind yes. of like look of like the, the CG stuff. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That shot on the right, like I love the close up on the left, but the shot mm -hmm. on the right just makes it look like it's the puppet. But I like now. Younger and just right. I don't know. You like, almost you good. almost wish it looked like that in the movie. Like it, it's it's a good oh, representation of what was in the movie, but the way it was shot here and the way it looks as an actual figure and an actual with actual cloth is the way you wanted it to look in the movie. He's he looks like he's taking up a corporeal space versus you know uh, CG characters and those those movies are CG laden to a degree that I could never condone. Uh, yeah. But like. Everything looks floaty, right? And like he looks like he's taking up space and like he's yep. existing in this world. Exactly. And it's cool. It's cooler than he'll ever look on screen right there. Sadly. Yes. Sadly. Uh Lenny, are you a fan of the prequels? Um I I loathe Phantom Menace. Except for <laughs> well, yeah. except Phantom for Menace. the you know, the fight scene with Maul. But um I think the but rest attack, of attack of the clones Marvel, you can't you can't be a fan of either. I mean, uh, well, I mean, there it has its moments, better. and it has its it has its you know folly, I guess. Um, yeah. The, what would you say the the pluses of the Clone Wars? I'm very intrigued by this. Um, it's my least favorite of all the Star Wars movies. Really? Yes. Attack of the clones. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I like the the Sifo Dyas Camino. With Obi Wan and Jango Fett, great. That's a cool thing. I will yeah. agree with that. Yeah, that's great. Um, I I like all the Jedi at the end, mm -hmm. um, but I mean, the love story it, part, not from yeah. A, just, no, the, it, it's that way that part hokey. was just terrible. Too um, yeah, yeah. So like they, Padme and Anakin yeah. don't see each other for. 12 years or something like that 10 years yeah, right. now, now what what's going on like <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's at least like twice his age or something i don't, I don't know what's yeah, going on. how old was she supposed to be in the phantom menace versus his like six-year-old self like was she supposed to be 10 because otherwise <laughs> i don't that's like the creepiest freaking love story because she looked like she was like 17 or 18 in she, the phantom menace she would definitely need to be on some type of registry um <laughs> If if something were to happen, but he was like twenty. She was probably thirty, and he was like twenty, right, or twenty something, and she was thirty something, basically. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm talking about the Phantom Fine. Menace. I wonder what the age difference in that movie was supposed to be because it doesn't seem like it was just ten years. No, I know it doesn't. It doesn't really. I mean, yeah. how old was she actually in the Phantom Menace? I think she was like twenty something. In college, wasn't she? She was eighteen. She twenty something. Really? No. Was she eighteen? When Wait. she did that movie? Yes. Damn, IMDb TJ, man. That's Wait, good. hold on. I, I had I, I had a huge crush on Natalie Portman. Ah, uh, the truth. Yeah, mm. and she was born three days before I was born. Oh, wow. okay. What so time? In 89, I was I was 18. Okay. I was also 18. Wow. Yeah, I was 17, I think, on the fan of Mask. Yeah. So she was 18. He must have been like nine. Tops? Like, so, he, he, there's no way he was nine. You don't think he was nine in the first movie? Yeah, no. He's like no my five year old nephew. Like he, how, like, was, how, old was he actually, how old was the actor actually? Uh, Somebody did the research. No idea. 
I don't what, know. Like, what's I his name? Know. I don't. I don't even know his name. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, again. Jesus. Haley um, Joel Osment the <laughs> second. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I don't know. Look up his prison record. He's, he's been arrested. <laughs> Has he been in prison this whole time? Oh, dude, man, he's. <laughs> did you see pictures of him like when he was older? Who? Have you seen that? Who? No. It, it looked. It looks exactly like pictures of when he was younger, but with a beard. Oh, yeah, Wait, with a beard, uh, like hungover and drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> really? But, yeah. Well, somebody. Uh, I'll. I'll do the here research. The, but, you can post it up here. You can put it up here. You gotta at Jake, least put it Jake, up on the. Jake, Jake Lloyd. Hang on a second. Holy shit, Jake Lloyd. Yes. Not one of them, huh? To find the uh, where is it? Uh, there's got to be some images of his uh, mug shot, which is just oh, here. Re- there um, we go. There, <laughs> here we go. You got it. Wait, wait, oh, I have seen these pictures. Yes, that's right. <laughs> wow, god, <laughs> he looks like a rogue Jedi from a fan, he, he does, from a fan he does. movie. I mean, I mean, wow. that is just Anakin. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just about to show that. Yeah, yeah really. He's turned to the dark side. I feel bad for the dude, man. I mean, I, I do. I don't I don't know what he's been through, but I mean it's got a ch- you know, child actors have a lot of yeah, a lot of shit. He, to go even through, sometimes so. adult actors, like the guy who played uh Jar Jar. <laughs> yes. Oh, well that's, I blame that more on George Lucas. I was gonna say he's not the one that had problems. The problems came to him because of playing Jar Jar. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which, which you could probably say the same about Jake Lloyd is in that they got an actor. I, I saw some auditions for that. Um, there, there's some sort of. Uh, I don't think they were on the DVD, but there were there were auditions for for Anakin, and there were some kids that were really good actors. Man, they were like, wow! You just watch it, you go, how much different would it have been if this kid had been in <laughs> this movie? You know what I mean? As opposed to him, he just wasn't a great actor. He just oh, wasn't great. He was terrible. Yeah, which which you 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 think like yeah, yeah, it's hard to blame him, but like at the same time you kind of blame him <laughs> because it's like <laughs> I blame Lucas. No, so I blame I blame, right. I blame I blame Lucas too. I, bl- I blame Lucas for for that. I blame Lucas for uh, for Jar Jar. I mean, it's just you know. So so you're right about his age during filming. He was, nine. Yeah, he, he was born in eighty nine. There you go. So he was about nine, eight, nine when he was filming this thing. You mock me, TJ. You mock me. I would never mock you. Me you did. You probably mock me. I would. Face. <laughs> you only mock me, Tom, because we woke you up today. But uh, Tom and I mock you about that time you abandoned us in San Diego. But anyway. Yes, we do, and we shall continue to do that. Where was but, I? But you know who was there for us, Tom? Okay. Mark. Mark was Mark. there for us. More well, you know what you can do? Here's what you can do. You can get Mark to set up these decks every week, and we can do this. Sh- you can do the show with Mark. Okay. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. All Talk right, Mark. I mean, you just tell us you'll meet it somewhere and like not show up. So my one issue with this, well, well going back to the figures. Yes. Thank you. My Good my job. one issue with this. Lenny, figure Lenny's invited back next week. Light up function. <laughs> yes. It totally yeah. would have worked with this. With the shorter saber, the light would have been stronger. It would have been a good. It would have been good. So there's no light up saber in here, just because the batteries in the arm didn't work. I guess I. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Um, but I mean, obviously, I'm gonna. You know, the you uh, know what, the, I the, the Yoda one is already on my desk. So I, I'll mm-hmm. thank you. I just love a Yoda saber from Six Scale Sabers. Oh really? Yeah, you know. Okay, that's that's good to know. It's either that or I can learn to Photoshop this properly, <laughs> which I can't. Like like Mark has done here, <laughs> including in the eyes, yeah. which is a nice touch. It's beautiful. Uh, and let's see. I don't know why it's not coming out like that? So uh, enough of you guys said that uh, you love this young Ben. Uh, you guys, I think both of you guys said you like old Ben. Uh, Oh, I, I'm going to talk about old Ben. I like both Bens. Yeah, yeah. I tend to I tend to like young Ben better than old Ben. I, I've got some problems with the old Ben sculpt. Um, just didn't think it was spot on. Uh, if you put it side by side, uh, Janix is starting a 
a reissue for the. Well, this is how I learned that TJ is selling his old Ben because I I actually texted that to him and said uh, you got to get that old Ben sculpt from Janix because I got it and it's great and he's like I'm selling old Ben. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Unless someone wants to sell me a Han Solo, then I'll keep my old Ben. You nominated old Ben for one of the best figures, and you're going to sell him. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't dislike the figure. I just, I don't have enough of the, like the rest of the set. Well, you never will if you keep selling them. That's well, true. I, I no, I came to this conclusion today. So you're just gonna you're just gonna get rid of the entire a new hope set. There's there's a lot of pressure right now. Like I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, this is, what? Okay, I don't All know. Right, lay do. back. Lay, lay back. Who, who's who's causing you pressure? Like you. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, guess like, I, can, I guess I can't help you. No, you, don't, you don't understand. Like when I can't sleep at night, <laughs> I think about like WWTD. What would Trevor do? No. <laughs> um, when I can't sleep at night, I think about like you know two things. Like I think about like well three things. You know like there's work, toys I want to buy, and photographs I want to compose. Yeah. yeah okay. And like lately, I'm, I'm like I kind of miss Han and Chewie. Well, I mean, like I and I I can't even remember what figure I bought after I sold Han and Chewie. I I, we, you I, talked about it on the show. You can go back to an episode and find the episode where you were talking about selling Han and Shui. And I think you were talking about selling it to Tom at one point, or Tom was thinking about yeah. buying it from. Well, that was a long time ago. Yes, yes. It was like episode two or three or something. I don't know. I was, that was many shows ago. And like, I don't many, I don't, many. I don't watch our shows. Yeah, I know. Why would you? Uh, yeah, but go back and get them, man. OSR BST. You know, the prices <laughs> are crazy, man. No, they're not. Han and Chewie probably Han is like probably cost you like five hundred for the set. No, yeah, really? I've seen Han for like four hundred. What? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes. But then if you get it, you got to get the Janix sculpt because that, that Han sculpt is not that great. Yeah, but I I don't know any painters that will answer. Well, go to Sabrina's page. <laughs> yes, like, every not like the one tech shooter, like. You know, I send out a message and like five painters from like England and Japan like say, Yes, we will paint for you. I don't know, I don't I don't have that kind of clout. I don't have that you do, clout. you do. You just like dropped, you know, Silver Surfer's name a few minutes ago. I, I have I have that, but I you know, there's there's some other stuff that I don't I don't have that I'm trying to do for like four years now. Silent surfer. Yeah, yeah, all right, whatever. That's yeah. Doesn't answer me. I'm not gonna call. Wait, is he the I one that's saying Lauren Rand too? Who? What's up? Who? Is he the one? What? Is he the one that won't answer you, or was it Paul Prentice? That's that Paul, Paul Prentice. Prentice. No, Paul no. Prentice answered me. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. He, I, I forgot what he said. He said like I'm busy, or he's got a he's sure. close to commissions, and then like two weeks later, he was like, "Oh, I'm taking commissions," and then like I'm answering. <laughs> He's a good dude. He sure. does a good job. All right. Good, job. Yeah, good job. Have you considered Marco? Marco Pronto? 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 He does a fantastic Indiana Jones. Does he? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really good. The last two I'm actually, from I'm actually him. sending him my Janix. Are really fun. I, I don't know. Like the last two sculpts I saw from him, um, it's like someone just like boosted the clarity uh, <laughs> on a Lightroom edit. Like everything mm. was really, really like strong. I'm trying to think if I, I can't remember who did my Luke, an ego Luke. It might have been him. I'm not sure. Hmm. I got to look that up. I don't remember. Or you could always anyway. Anyway, we digress. Let's get back to Ben. We digress. Um, uh, no, no, never. <laughs> we digress. That's the why it's four hours. Six digress. Um, who's got the Ben? I got two. Lenny, two? Yeah, yeah, two. I I got the regular one and the and the uh, deluxe. Uh, why? Wait, what? Uh, because I pre-ordered the deluxe and then the regular one came out and I had to have it, so I I paid Hong Kong price. <laughs> I, I love paid. the. I had to have it. Yeah, like uh, I just could. I just could not wait. Oh, wait. oh, oh! You got 
first. Okay, all right, that no. explains it. Okay. Wasn't the Hong Kong price like not crazy? No, it, it wasn't crazy. I think I bought it from Tim Cent for like three hundred and twenty dollars or something like that. It was no, that's, that's slightly crazy because I know in Hong Kong, like Star Wars figures are <laughs> yeah. not priced like Iron Man or Thanos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the I think the DX experience. Yeah. Or the uh, deluxe version, not the DX version, but the uh, exclusive version, deluxe version, whatever was was nice. I don't, I don't know if I, I needed all this shit that came with it. Um, it's cool, looks great in that shot. That's by Tony Mills, Passage to Eldron, and uh, and Kareen, uh, Swiss Jedi, uh, which is awesome. She she used to be a pop photographer, and now she's doing uh, one six stuff, which is really cool. Um, but it's a great figure. It looks really good. It it displaced my custom. Um, so I guess that's good. I know the sculpt isn't on. People had some issues with the sculpt. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. It's pretty I think damn it's good. It's better than the Luke that we had on the very first slide, personally. Definitely better than the Luke on the first slide. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about new hot toys and their, you know, their ability to do incredible sculpts now. Um, yep. I think, I think the, I think the pickiness has gotten exponentially, you know, that's, more. That's what it is. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, because this is yeah. if this came out years ago, people would be blown away. I mean, this this would be the greatest figure of all time. Um, <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. Um, and it's a good figure. I mean, it's just a good, solid figure. It's got good range of motion. It's got good, um, you know, uh, accessories with it, and uh, it's cool. Definitely. Cool. I'm just a big fan of Ben Kenobi, and I think that like even. Granted, I have my own personal issues with the mythos Obi Wan that Sideshow did. Um, I still think like I like that figure as a figure. You know, if we're talking, what are your, what are your issues with that? Do you have it? Uh, no, but uh, I've shot it a whole bunch because uh, my nerdy oh, obsession right, right. time and we hung right. out uh, a bunch. But um, that figure, the paint job on it is a little wonky in places. Okay. Um, his ears are like ten shades darker than the whole rest of his complexion. So it looks like someone like just smeared mud all over the sides of his head, and then just like left him. <laughs> like what? What happened to him? It's weird. But, the body um, on that. How's the body on it? The body was pretty good. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like I, I want to say that I played with it a whole bunch, but I really didn't because um, it was like over the course of a weekend that I had like forty different new figures to play with for just like three, four days. Okay. So you know. The alien that's holding me, me back was uh, from getting that figure is the idea of the show, uh, which is now delayed. Um, indefinitely. Indefinitely. That I, that I figured that they would, you know, they'd age him <laughs> probably probably fairly considerably considering, you know, the difference between he and Alec Guinness. Uh, yeah. And, and there'd be a figure definitely based on that as soon as it came out. Uh, so it was kind of like a yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hold off for that. Yeah, um, but you're right, Ben Kenobi. I mean, I think just a consistent figure. I mean, or a consistent character throughout yeah. the movies, just really well, really well selected uh, actor wise for young Ben. Just great. Young, yeah, young and I mean, like clearly old was. That's how we learned of who Ben was. But like, even going back, like I don't know everything about that character. Um, was like my favorite thing from both movies or the original the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. Yep. Like yep, he's absolutely. just the a constant great presence in those films. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't love the portrayal in the Clone Wars as much because I thought it was just a little too pithy, I guess. But um, but I, I love movie this character. Or the cartoon? the cartoons. Oh, okay. the cartoons. Um, great, great character. Definitely the most consistent character, and the definitely the best selected for a young version of a character. Um, I think that might be it. That's it. And now we're going to move into our um, community picks um, from Instagram. Uh, and this is Executive Order sixty six by FX Toys. Chris Bryant, who's also holding a contest. I understand right now. Yes, want to check that out. Mm -hmm. It's a little. It's a little dark on here and i don't know it's because i picked it up from instagram go check it out on instagram because it looks really really good on instagram uh there's there's clone troopers back there it's very cool um really nice pick uh tj what'd you like about this you know what it's one of those um pictures that 
I really thought was a screenshot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you really is you know, well blended. What's that? It's so well is blended. It? Yeah, it is very well blended. Is he using a screenshot though for for the clone troopers on the back? Uh yes. I think he oh, yeah. did a screen oh. grab and they just like blended it, blended the uh he probably did a cutout. Oh wow. I spoke to him about okay. this, but I just I was like, oh this looks like it just came from the movie. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. I thought those were actual uh, clone trooper figures back there. Yeah, it looks really good. It's a zoomer because like the compression on Instagram is yeah. just ridiculous. So it's one of those things you got to go to Instagram and see it, and it, you, you'll see the outline of the of the this cloak and everything. On it. Looks really good. How far back do I have to scroll? Because I'm I'm looking for it now. Ooh, uh, uh, it's, it's like 2019. Like, yeah, it's only like about 20 or so. Maybe? I think I found it pretty Four quickly. Maybe. maybe? Uh, and this is my pick. Uh, my buddy Patrick, Long Island boy, <laughs> almost uh, my neighbor. Yeah, almost my neighbor. He's closer to me than you. But I almost oh, like no. bought the house across the street from him. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. How cool would that have been? Oh my god, you should have done that. That would have been amazing. Uh, yeah, I hate sand. I, I love this. This this is just a beautiful. Um, it's just because you love Anakin. I, you know, you know what it is. Like, it's for Anakin. It's a the character itself. The look of it looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you take away the acting and, and the movies, yeah, the entire movies that he's in it looks great. If you just did it in posters, it would be my favorite character. Of, is that uh, the light up saber arm? Just like an extremely long. I gotta poster? ask him. I don't think it is. I mean, I think he has the light up saber arm in there, but I think he's enhanced that a little bit with the Photoshop, which is a really good job because he's done like the blue uh, glow on the face and stuff mm. like that. I just really love the light on this. I love that overhead light just hitting. He's just hitting yeah. all the right parts of this, like all the folds, even on the, uh, it would be his left side. Um, this is really, really nice portrait. It's really the, yeah, the lighting, the use of highlights on this are just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. that, exactly, what you're describing like that left side where like all of the folds of the robes are kind of coming over. Mm -hmm. and how it hits the, it makes the hand pop, which is like one of my like things I look for whenever I'm shooting. It's like, all right, if I'm gonna have a hand in there, I want to make sure the hand, especially if it's gonna be the same color as the thing that's in front of, there's Correct. a nice highlight hitting it, like a rim light that makes it pop, yep. and yep. he has that perfectly. Like it yep. hits all the individual fingers too, so you know it's like exactly what it is. Yep, it's perfect. I mean, there's nothing that's 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 there's nothing that needs light that's hidden here. I mean, it's it's perfect. It hits everything and and, and it describes the character. And it it outlines the character and it's, it's beautiful, beautiful shot. Uh, Night Brother by Noir Noir Kaiser Effects, Alberto yep. Hernandez, awesome awesome photographer. Yeah, uh, this was one, like Peter. funny. We were talking about the show, and you had said, "Let's pick all Star Wars pictures for the mm -hmm. show." I literally opened up Instagram like five minutes later, and this shot was the very first thing that popped up. I'm like, "Well, I got my pick because this is freaking awesome." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, it's amazing. It's like it's for his face. It's just it has like a lot of that anger of Maul, and yeah, it's just I don't know. It's all like the red. It feels like he's on Dathomir, but not. As, I, I love yeah, it. it's and you know it's it's really hard to get that all red light. Um, yep. And and then and then you get all red light on a red faced character. I mean, it's yeah. it's difficult to pull that off and make it look good. And then, <laughs> and I know this because I've uploaded red uh, shots to Instagram to get it to look good on Instagram. Is Instagram like, eats red for breakfast. Oh my god. It looks and it looks really good. And I don't know what he's done here, if he's if he's done anything specifically because of that, but uh, it looks it looked fantastic on Instagram. So uh, well done, Alberta. Really, really nice. Uh, I think that is the show. So uh, tell us what your favorite one six star wars figure is. I'm sure there are some stuff we've left out. Um, but I think we hit a lot of good stuff here. I mean 
there was a couple things like the short trooper. Um, there was something else that I was thinking of. Um, I can see yes. Dooku being brought up a lot because I figure, like, granted, he's not one of my favorite characters by a long shot, but he's a great looking figure. Great. Looking I think figure. it's probably due to popularity that that's probably not on there, but because he does yeah. have a great resemblance, um, yep. and probably should be included. Uh, I'll, I'll admit that we probably fell short on that one because that was a really good looking figure. Um, and and I mean, we're basing this on on likeness and you know the things that they come with. I think the emperor was a great figure. Mm. I just I wasn't I wasn't happy with that they didn't they came in with one sculpt with the smiling sculpt and didn't come with like a, a more serious you know evil looking sculpt. Or I think I probably would have nominated that too. Um, yeah, I would love to see Hot Toys just go back to multiple sculpts per figure, regardless. Yeah, I mean, especially with figures that don't come with a ton of accessories. I mean, obviously, yeah. it came with the chair and the DX version. Uh, but other than that, some hands and some lightning effects. I mean, definitely give me another sculpt. Uh, Ray, the TFA Ray, which I think, and uh, I think, Lenny, you had put this in your list. Uh, the best looking Ray, I think, in terms of hands you know, down. Yeah, all the Ray that they have, all the Rays that they have out now. Uh, probably should have made the list. I don't know. It was just like, you know, there was so many, so many we could have on there. Um, but it was, a good, it was a good figure. Star Wars 1-6 scale figure I pre-ordered and got. Is that right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Wow. Still a great looking I love, figure. I love The Force Awakens. Like a lot. Me too. So, uh, Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yep. Love it. I am really uh, excited definitely. for this new Ray as, as well, actually. Even, yeah. even though it looks like her mouth is like Two times bigger than it should be, but um, there's there's a lot of things wrong with that. <laughs> I'm you telling put the, the yeah. head on that though, my work. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think the, she looks the like video, uh, the video of you know wh whoever it was showing it off. I don't know if it was J.C. Hong or or the sculptor or whoever that was showing it off and like actually turning the head. It it looks pretty good there so maybe it's just okay. these pictures i don't, I don't think hong like loves to pose his amazing like prototypes yeah yeah i mean well they, they do better than the pictures that was half the time that we see coming out when, when he posts them like oh this is what the sculpt actually hopefully will look like and it always exactly looks better. <laughs> exactly what i was gonna say you're exactly right yeah it, it's like it's almost like a remedy to the shots that they've shown as, as previous like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Does you know it's gonna look really really good look at it no. <laughs> like, like i think he sees like, he sees the instant reaction people are like oh it looks nothing like that character and then he's like but wait look look what's on my desk like no seriously it does look like that right. person Every shot of this thing looks like Liv Tyler. It looks like Liv Tyler is playing Ray. Uh, it just does. Mixed Cross, with Evangeline, Evangeline Lily. Lily. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Evangeline Lily and Liv Tyler. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. That would be Levangeline Tilly. Tyler. That's, that's pretty good, Trevor. <laughs> branding. Again, branding. That's what I do. Uh, so tell us what your favorite one six figure is. Uh, as always, um, subscribe to the channel. We'll let you know when we're coming up. Um, a t-shirt. We got some. We got buy a t-shirt. It's great. Uh, support the channel. Um, we've got uh, some sister things. Uh, Star Wars time show, and uh, the toy photographer podcast, which is awesome. Um, Star Wars time show does an incredible job, like in depth stuff. Uh, uh, you got to watch. You got to watch their videos on the alternate uh, version of uh, the rise of Skywalker, the, the, the script that it existed before really, really good breakdown of that. Really, really good. Uh, since we're talking about star Wars and uh, toy photography podcast. Uh, Your episode was greater than that, by the way, Trevor. And thank you. I, I don't know what I said. People have been telling me that I'm uh, like, did I, did I say something that I don't realize I said? Cause it was very insightful. Hurt. Um, and also the fact that like, I, I actually really like to hear how much like emphasis you put on yourself. Cause I do the same, but like when it comes to your May the fourth pictures and stuff like that, it's like, oh, yeah. you know, you feel like that immense pressure. And then of course, like two weeks before you're like, well, I got to do something now, but you've been thinking about it in the back of your head that whole time. Dude. Like I do the, the same whole, thing. I'm thinking about May the fourth now. Uh, well, yeah. actually I was thinking about it in like September and, uh, and I still don't have anything for it. I do have something for it, but, that's also the thing I talked about in that episode that it's like, it's going to be immense. And I don't, I just don't know if I could pull it off, but it's going to be one of those things that I'll probably like do the night before. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. Like get that crazy uh, energy, whatever. But uh, great, great, great 
podcast. He does an amazing job, uh, Dakota. And uh, so check those guys out. Links are in the description below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny, for joining us. Man. Glad to be here. Man, I already feel like I'm part of the family. Anyway. You are. <laughs> you are. I watch this show so 